I'm so excited, man. Now, I saw a movie that I really liked and I think you're going to love, too. And this is a moment for you and I to finally relate to each other, get along. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Something you something you think is awesome enough for me to enjoy? Yeah, yeah, really? yeah. No. Hey, I'm all ears, Corey. Doomsday, man. Do- do- you got to watch this, man. Doomsday? I, doomsday. Yeah, the, the dude that directed. Doomsday. The- yeah, what? Is- uh, I already saw it. And? And I hated it. Corey, you just saying that just oh, to go against me. You know, you like that movie. I'm you, sorry, man, Corey. No. I did not like it. Uh, uh, co-host, it has it has blood. Yeah, it's got booty. I know. It's got guts. I mean, it's got a lot of crazy action. In it. What? Why? Why are you doing this, man? I, I'm sorry, but it's like somebody took a dump and all that stuff. I like. I, when I watched <laughs> this movie, that's what it felt like. I'm oh. sorry, Corey. Oh. I know you want to bond, but oh, this movie ain't gonna do it. I'm sorry, my friend. Feelings are hurt, man. I'm sorry. Well, what the hell did you like about this movie, Corey? What, right. tell, tell the people what this crap is about. Please. All right. Okay. I don't want to tell them. Okay. Present time, there's a disease that uh, an outbreak of a virus makes people all ugly and, and nasty and pussy and everything. Yeah. And, and then uh, uh, almost kills everybody off in, in London and Scotland and Glasgow mm-hmm. and all. Yep. So to contain it, they build a wall over That'll the city. That'll work. And, yeah, and, a wall. And, <laughs> yeah, a wall. They, yeah, they don't think about it, like trying to cover it with a big bubble or something. You know, they, what if it gets airborne? They're gonna go right over the wall. Birds. What about them? Just build the wall. Come on, we're busy. <laughs> so they build this crazy ass wall, put guns on top of the wall, and soldiers to keep people coming out. Now, go several years into the future, into 2035. Mm-hmm. Uh, they think that there's no life in there, right? But there's another outbreak outside of the wall. Yes. And when they discover that there is life within these walls. They say, well, we can probably go and get somebody who's immune, bring them back out, and use their blood to find a cure. Yes, and use their blood and cure the world. And now, to, to find this person, they send in somebody I really like. This girl named, uh, hold on, god damn it. They send in, not Kate Beckinsale, but the discount Be- Kate Beckinsale. And I like that because it makes me feel like I, if, I can't get Kate, if I can't get Kate Beckinsale, mm-hmm. I can afford this chick. Her name is Rena, uh, Rona Mitra. Yep, yep, and she, yep, e- even with her one eye in the movie, she's a, she's a looker. Man, she could have, uh, she could have lost both, excuse me, she could have lost both, uh, god damn it, she could have lost both her eyes, as long as she got them breasts and that ass, I don't mind. That's my, right. Put a patch on both of them eyes. Who needs eyes? And, and who needs that mouth anyway? Just, exactly. Just, yeah, shut up. Cut her head off. That's right. <laughs> who needs it? I put my own head on there. <laughs> Well, not mine, but, you know, somebody, I'll make a paper bag. Oh, oh be picture. quiet. You already gave yourself away. You love our outfits. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, look, one thing I think that you and I can both agree on, mm-hmm. the movie's terrible. Yes, it is a terrible movie, Corey. And uh, would you like me to tell you what I didn't like about it? Please. All right. I, for one, think this movie is just one big diarrhea milkshake of Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> Good start now, over. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You, Damn, I know. It's, it's, Mad Max. Mad Max. Uh, uh, <laughs> Iba Deba. Three Stooges. No. <laughs> Corey, can I tell you what I don't like about this movie? Please, tell All me. right. This movie is just one big diarrhea milkshake of Mad Max, Escape from New York, Resident Evil, 28 Days Later, and A Dash of Army of Darkness. And uh, what you say? What you say? Uh, and and uh, and uh, and what what the fuck is that place? And a medieval times restaurant. Oh, and of course the medieval times restaurant. I, I tell you what, man, this movie just had no direction. It didn't know what it wanted to be. It didn't know what it wanted to do. And despite all the blood, all the gore, all the uh, makeup, it, it it just it it just didn't grab me. There's nothing for me to hold on to. I didn't care about these characters. I didn't care about the situation. Well, you ain't got no arms. What you going to hold on to anyway? <laughs> I, I needed to hold on to something. I, 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 I was looking for a Snake Plissken or, 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 or are there any tough hero chicks out there that we can look up to these days? Sigourney horror? Weaver and Aliens. God, that's so old. Anyway, oh, yeah, there was, this chick was no Sigourney Weaver. And I'm sorry, despite all the uh, blood and gore i just did not care i was really trying to like this movie core i was really trying because every time i saw somebody get torn apart heads decapitated oh i I really wanted to love it but then the movie would go on and the thing that the the movie that the part that destroyed me was all of a sudden these guys are in the future 
and they somehow managed to find their way to the local medieval times. I, I was waiting for Andy Dick to pop out and go, welcome to medieval times. <laughs> And at that point, I was done with the movie, Corey. I wanted to turn it off. But look. I, I was just done. Look, man, I agree with you. The movie is stupid. I'm not telling people that it's good. It's a terrible movie. I mean, let's look at, let, let's look at it this way. Right. Okay, you were trapped in a city. Yep. You got no food. You got no water. You got no electricity. No friends. But, but no friends, no nothing. No tifus. <laughs> no teeth. No, but, but, somehow, <laughs> but somehow you managed to work your way to the local Eckerd's. Uh, uh, wait a minute, let me say Somehow you managed to find your way to the local Walgreens and still b- get a bunch of makeup and hair dye and, and look all trendy and punk. Toothpaste. To- you, got, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you got Pro-V. You got all that stuff, all that goo to make your hair all nice and spiky. I just didn't get it. Oh, and, yeah. What? what? And then if you ain't there, then you you robbing the local costume shop for to, so you can dress up like the Burger King or something. Exactly. And, and, or, or, you, or you're 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 robbing high school drama drama class to get those medieval time outfits. I don't I don't get it. I just don't get how this movie made makes any sense. Not only did they not not, not only did they have outfits, but they had fools making armor they got they got like horses you know they, they got, got blacksmiths all of a yeah, sudden they, hanging out yeah what? they made chain mail and they got weapons is, i mean oh, come on i mean oh. i know y'all are in scotland and y'all got castles and shit but come on y'all ain't that medieval that y'all can do all that i know i was like how did how did the, how did malcolm mcdowell his character just convince all these people hey i got an idea let's dress up like we all work at medieval times yeah that's a great idea and well, well, out of what? Huh? And yet, out of all that medieval shit, I can understand they found this. Now they find something that just doesn't fit in all this ridiculousness. Mm-hmm. If they were with the punk people, I right. can understand finding like some modern technology or something. Yeah. But while they're hanging out at this castle with all these medieval people, mm-hmm. somehow they manage to work their way down to a bunker and find not only a bunch of guns, <laughs> but they find a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> those that was remnants of the old world, Corey. Of course, that they, those blacksmiths, boy, they knew what they were doing back then. Back when the world was young. <laughs> And they drop, and that and that car doesn't get a scratch or a dent, no matter yeah. what you hit. Yeah, it, yeah, it turns into 007, too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Jesus, but look, see, no, we we bonded on this. We know that the movie's I, bad. Yeah, Come on, let's see, we got yeah. something in common. A little something in common, just a little, just a little. Don't get your hopes up. So no, nah, so where you wait? So I, no, wait a minute, hold on. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna give my rating. That's when you flip out. All right, <laughs> so, All right. Let's do it. So see, okay, so it's not so bad. So I think if you go in and watch this comedy, I mean, sorry, I think if you go in and watch this movie as a really bad comedy and something that you would see on HBO or Cinemax late at night with your drunk dad, mm-hmm. I think it's okay. I'll give it a matinee for that. What? Are you serious? <laughs> You'd give this movie a matinee? Yeah. I'm, what? I'm saying for the right right reasons. Right. You- Corey, I thought we were bonding here and you screw it up. What oh, the no. hell? So, Corey, unsheath your sword. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Don't. <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> Corey, how dare you? I give this movie some old bullshit times 10, and I order you to unsheath your sword for us it, to commence with battling and, and do this out. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay. Damn it, Corey. I, I give this movie some bullshit, and I would throw some bullshit in your face. And order you to unsheath your sword so that we were so that we may do this out because we are no longer friends. Oh my god. Put the, put put that down, man. Are you ready to do battle? Hopefully this will be our first and only battle. <laughs> I've waited a long time for this, Corey. Oh my Oh my god, you <laughs> Let this be our final battle! With my sword Excalibur. <laughs> You're silly. You're just silly. You're just, it, 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 shut up. Have you unsheathed your sword yet, Corey? I got a sword for you. Be quiet. See, look, we're getting along here. And look, you can't tell me. How about that scene where they brought that man out and they put him over a grill and they cooked the human being alive and they start cutting him up like turkey? You got to admit. Oh, my God. Okay, you, now that scene was awesome where they yeah, where, where they do a rotisserie on that guy. They do exactly. A, they do a KFC on his ass. Exactly. Now, Boy. you got to admit, now, we brought the right fixings. That'd be kind of good. Hey, Thunderdome knows how to make chicken right. Exactly. We bring some uh, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> yes, and macaroni, bring some beans, coleslaw. Some, some coles and some and hogs feet, some, hogs uh, some turnip greens and grits. Hogs. Hogs teeth. Okay, all right, you're getting something now. <laughs>
Say, be just like one of your family's barbecue. It'd be just like your Let family. Let me say, start off. It would be just like your family's barbecue, Corey. All right, all right. You're getting personal now. Stop it. 